An SUV plunges off a cliff near Grand Lake, and we've just learned that several people were in that SUV when it went in the water. For these new developments, we check in with 2 News reporter Brandon Richard. He's live near Grove tonight. Brandon? I just finished talking with an OHP trooper. He was able to confirm the three fatalities, three people inside that vehicle, which they believe to be an SUV. Now, the GRDA dive team has been able to recover one body. Right now, they're working on recovering the other two bodies. Investigators say they have not been able to identify the three people who were inside the vehicle. I want to show you some video that we shot a little earlier. Authorities say the SUV plunged 80 feet. Earlier we heard 40 feet, but investigators just told me 80 feet off the cliff near Lee's Resort, which is about four miles north of downtown Grove on Grand Lake. They're not sure about the circumstances that led the SUV crash into the guardrail. Dive teams have been out here all day, and because of the frigid temperatures, they're having to take bre uh, breaks much sooner than they normally would, but investigators say they will remain here on the scene uh, as long as it takes in order to recover the two other bodies. I can tell you that there are some people out here who believe that their family members who they haven't seen since yesterday may be inside that vehicle, but again, authorities not confirming the identities of the people inside. Of course, we will stay out here, keep on top of it, and bring you the latest information on our mobile apps, KJRH.com, and of course, 2 News at 10. Live on Grand Lake, Brandon Richard, 2 News works for you. At Grand Lake tonight. All right, Brandon, thanks. Well, Oklahoma has many ties to the day that John F. Kennedy was a